Well, folks, it's long overdue, but AOC has finally filed articles of impeachment against Justice Clarence Thomas and Justice Alito. This MSNBC article reads, AOC files impeachment articles targeting Justices Alito and Thomas. In the wake of the Supreme Court's immunity ruling in Trump v. U.S., Representative AOC of New York issued a statement condemning the high court's, quote, corruption crisis beyond its control. But the Congresswoman, who's sometimes known by her AOC initials, didn't stop there. Quote, today's ruling represents an assault on American democracy, the New York Democrat added, referring to the immunity case. Quote, it is up to Congress to defend our nation from this authoritarian capture. To that end, Ocasio-Cortez vowed to introduce articles of impeachment against Supreme Court justices after Congress' 4th of July break. Evidently, she meant it. NBC News reported this afternoon. AOC on Wednesday introduced articles of impeachment against Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito. Quote, the un checked corruption crisis on the Supreme Court has now spiraled into a constitutional crisis threatening American democracy writ large, she wrote. She cited Thomas and Alito's financial and personal entanglements as a, quote, grave threat to American rule of law and the integrity of our democracy. And I'm really glad this is on the record. I'm glad AOC is bringing attention to this, because while Donald Trump has been speedrunning our country toward a dictatorship with the help of the Supreme Court of the United States, the, the Democratic Party hasn't been exactly united. Ever since the debate, we've all been fighting about certain things, we've been fighting about certain candidates, and we haven't had a cohesive, united message taking down Donald Trump, and it should be so easy. It should be so easy to explain. So now AOC is bringing attention to it. Hopefully this goes viral on TikTok. Hopefully people start doing research on this. They link it to Project 2025. They understand that this Supreme Court ruling was laying the groundwork for Project 2025, which advocates for this maximalist version of the unitary executive theory, which is a theory that the president cannot be checked by Congress or the Supreme Court, and he has total control over the entire executive branch. The Supreme Court now apparently backs that. And Donald Trump hasn't officially commented on this yet, but as it was happening, he was posting some deranged stuff on Truth Social. He said, think of it, I am leading all comers by a lot for president of the United States, and I am still under an unlawful gag order. This is not America. He has been going on and on about his gag order that he's still under. He likes to test the limits of these gag orders so he can play victim when he sees the consequences. He then said, I can't believe that I'm still under an unconstitutional gag order by a judge who truly hates Trump. So totally unfair. The whole system, if rigged. He said, if not is. He's just always whining. He's always typing in all caps and whining. For an 80 or a 78 year old man who's almost 80, I've never heard someone whine so much. He then said, crazy Nancy Pelosi is more of a cognitive mess than sleepy crooked Joe. She also suffers from a terminal case of TDS, Trump derangement syndrome. She is a total nut job who impeached me twice and lost. Well, the impeachments went through. He just wasn't convicted by the Senate. Now I see her going around barely and saying that I'm a threat to democracy. You are absolutely a threat to democracy. You have repeatedly tried to subvert the will of the American people. No, this is just radical left Democrat disinformation, which is all they're good at. He accuses us of spreading disinformation when he said the election was rigged before the election even happened. He did that during both elections and said the 2016 caucuses were rigged. So talk about disinformation. It's all projection with this guy. Sandra Ocasio-Cortez from New York City, and she's filed two articles of impeachment against uh, Justice Samuel Alito and Justice Clarence Thomas. And these articles of impeachment are not based in any of the decisions that either of these two justices have made, but instead specifically about their conduct around the office. For instance, uh, in both Thomas and Alito, case, she is accusing them of not properly disclosing uh, financial benefits and gifts that they were given uh, by donors and others, and in some cases, people that had business before the court or even had a vested interest, a political interest, in some of the issues before the court. And she's also uh, doing that in the case of Clarence Thomas, saying uh, that he refused to recuse himself from certain cases that his spouse had a vested interest in as well. His wife, Ginny Thomas, of course, uh, was very much involved involved in the Stop the Steal effort, the efforts to overturn the 2020 election and things along those lines. Also, uh, she is accusing uh, Justice Alito uh, as well of refusing to recuse himself from certain cases of which he may have a conflict of interest. So this, these are very specific accusations that Ocasio-Cortez is leveling against these two Supreme Court justices. It comes at a time where Democrats are getting increasingly frustrated about the direction of the court. Obviously, the decisions that the, this court has rendered over the 
the past couple of months, but also the conduct of these Supreme Court justices and the lack of oversight that they apparently seem to have uh, without any kind of specific code of ethics. And I want to read you guys some writing from the primary document. You know, I'm all about research on this channel during my live streams. We research, we research on my subreddit, r slash Adam Mockler. Leave a like on this video if you like doing the research. So it says, resolution, Samuel Alito, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States is impeached for high crimes and misdemeanors and that the following articles of impeachment be exhibited to the United States Senate. And then when it comes to Clarence Thomas, resolution, the Clarence Thomas, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States is impeached for high crimes and misdemeanors and that the following articles of impeachment be exhibited to the United States Senate. And I want to read you guys a concise summary of the article. So it says the first impeachment resolution includes the following impeachment articles against Justice Thomas. One, failure to disclose financial income, gifts and reimbursements, property interests, liabilities and transactions, among other information. Two, refusal to recuse for matters concerning his spouse's legal interest in cases before the court. Three, refusal to recuse for matters involving his spouse's financial interest in cases before the court. The second impeachment resolution includes the following impeachment articles against Justice Alito. One, refusal to recuse from cases in which he had a personal bias or prejudice concerning a party in cases before the court, and two, failure to disclose financial income, gifts and reimbursements, property interests, liabilities, and transactions, among other information. Ryan Schmelz on Twitter points out, AOC has introduced articles of impeachment against Thomas and Alito. Co-sponsors include Barbara Lee, Rashida Tlaib, Bonnie Watson Coleman, Delia Ramirez, Maxwell Frost, Ilhan Omar, and Jamal Bowman. Quite a roster there, and they're all pointing out the conflict of interest of a Supreme Court justice or two Supreme Court justices taking bribes, taking gifts from people that have a vetted interest in influencing the way the Supreme Court works. And it looks like it has worked. These people have had influence over the Supreme Court, and now it is more radical than it has ever been. It is eroding all of the silent norms and written norms that have existed in the Constitution since the inception of America. Over and over, they keep making these immunity rulings, Chevron rulings, that are just stripping down all of the regulations that were in place, all of the checks and balances that were in place to make sure the president is not a king. It is terrifying stuff. Even if this impeachment doesn't pass the Republican-controlled House, which it probably won't, it's all about showing people what is at stake. It's all about the headlines with this move. It's all about blasting this to the front of everyone's feed, so they're looking up, what did Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas do? What did Alito do? They learn about how radicalized our institutions have become and how close we are to losing our democracy. It is a Hail Mary. She is trying to show people that our Supreme Court justices are bought off and extreme, and I truly do hope it works. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to comment a blue heart. Hit that subscribe button. Go join the Adam Ockler subreddit. It's in the description below. Most importantly, have a great day.